Welcome to Now News and Update. And as you all know, that we break down complex um, issues or what you are finding difficult on your part, I will break it down for you and give you guidelines on how to go about it. So today, what we have for you is um, how to credit your wallet. We have a lot of students who are requesting, who are, um, who are finding it difficult to credit their wallet as a student. So today, we decided to like. Um, I'm take you through this process and um, show you the guidelines and uh, procedure and how to do that successfully. So stay tuned to the end of this video and um, watch as we proceed. So you know the portal, the student portal. So once you go to the student portal, you click on the um, registered student. It will take you to this page. Put your matric number, then put your password. This capture will pop up. Put the capture here. Put the capture there. Let's just put it. I told you that the capture you must um. Should, there, there is no space in between the capture, so you must write it correctly. Let's say this is a capture. So you must write it correctly. So let's try it now. I think this is um. I think this is J. If I'm not sure. I can equally just change it. Now I told you we can change it. Let's try this one. Because that one was hidden. So we need to try this one. So let's go. Let's log into our page now and see what we have there. You saying on capture. Oh I think this is a capital letter so let's try it now okay okay yeah right now we've logged in successfully to our student portal so we're going to see all these tabs all these tabs is going to show you uh, this is our student portal i might see something like this for the first time some th new students if you are a new student you can easily come to this side and click on the um, um, register for the semester and to show you but well, mostly you have to come to this boundary this boundary come to the boundary like this and um, it will show shows you this you can see it um, you will see this sub menu e wallet make payment um, check payment status bank details financial standing you can change our previous video on how to credit your wallet and we've done a video on that too how to credit your wallet just check our previous video and definitely you get to um be amazed because sometimes if you make the payments you need to go and credit your wallet and it's going to reflect in your portal but today's video is mainly for how to um um credit wallets how to credit wallet itself how to generate a meter code and all sorts so this is you have come to this board you just have to come to this make payments you click on make payments so um yeah it take it will take you to this page what you need to do is to put in the amount that you want to pay let's just say you want to pay 70 please no comma you don't put comma don't put i feel anything this is the description itself and the, the the status will be like pending this way you're going to see pending here yeah? after that you click on what you click on next let's do that so let's try to show you or show you how it is being done let's click on next after we put the amount to pay let's do that now so uh we put the amount that i want to pay there we just put um eighty thousand that i want to pay so this is where you're going to put the amount Please note, just say there is an important word, um, important thing I need to let you know in this aspect. Um, after you click on this next, once you click on the next, you take you to another page. This is this page is very very crucial. You need to take note of every down thing that is here, most especially this order ID and this remainder reference. Please, once you are making this payment, make sure you copy these two um other id and this remitter payment you copy the two out see the one i highlighted you need to copy this to either you write it somewhere or you copy it to anywhere you know that it's safe because after you make the payment 
after you make the payment through your meta portal you are going to use this thing to credit your wallet check our previous video on how to credit your wallet so it is very very important so most especially you've seen the amount you want to pay you've seen the wallet for the this is the description and it's still pending because you've not made the payment then after that you read all this all this one is meant for you to just read it then after that you click on i have read the instruction above then you come to this place and click on next after you click on next it will take you to a remita page let me click on it for you so after you click on it it will take you to this page this is the page that you use and make the payments so if you are going to the bank to go and make your payment you can easily copy the arrow code then go to any bank branch near you then go and make the payment in the bank and get your receipt but if you want to make online which is very pretty easy i believe it's easy for everyone who want to make payment so you can just do this right now after it has shown you this page what you just need to do is to come to this submit once you click on this submit it will take you to another page see the page i've taken you to and this page now is asking you something and you need to know how do you want to make your payments this is how you should be able to do that now so in this page is asking you how do you want to make your payment so it now left to you either you want to use your uh, your card you can use your card to make payment can use bank transfer ussd inera bank branch which you want to copy and go to bank if you have a metal um, account and you have money in your wallet you can use it you have wallet that you want to use through the phone number and also i don't want to explore all this so that you will not take much of our time this is uh, mostly you put your card here you put your expiring date and the cvv you know the cvv then you click compare immediately you put that there it's going to debit you and there is an otp that will be sent to your registered number so you, you just put the otp there to initiate the payment after that you've done you've done the payment but this is another another one again that is pretty very simple i want you to highlight this you want to click on bank branch bank transfer rather so if you click on it it will take you to another page again this place is very simple and i believe it's some everybody can do this one as well with most people don't have card you can use this this one is pretty simple please note in this place this account number that is generated for you don't you cannot it's not it's a generic account number you can't use it after 30 minutes so don't save it anywhere this account number will let me just say it will evaporate after 30 minutes if you pay money into it the money might not be retrieved so after 30 minutes don't pay money into it it's better you go and regenerate it again but within the 30 minutes see the, the countdown can you see 29 minutes or this is the countdown it's asking you that this account express expires in what in 29.20 minutes and can only be used for this transaction alone you can't use it for any other transaction after 30 minutes you cannot use it for this transaction again you have to watch you have to use it and uh, the reason why i'm emphasizing on it is that nobody should go and save this account number don't save it it's a generic account number and it do expire so the account name that you're going to see is a meter check out here because you are paying through your meter and it will show you the bank name so in this aspect it's showing you what fidelity then after you copy this account see this account details now after you copy it make sure you, you just paste it it will bring you and you put fidelity there it will bring your meter checkout make sure that this account details is correct and after you have made the payment and you sure that it has gone you can come here and click on have made this payment immediately you they confirmed it it will definitely show and a receipt your meter is to be sent to your student email address and you can also go ahead and confirm it from the student portal and um, use the money to do anything you want to do either you want to use and do registration for your courses exam or semester registration so i believe this is the end of this video and i believe you will follow through and if you follow this step one after the other it's not going to take you you're going to get everything and make payment generate the meter code and also do all the other things by yourself consigning the payment so once again i want us to, i want you to know that we have other channels we have telegram channel that we have that you can join and also be asking a lot of questions because we'll be doing 
other like life questions in and all sort. So if you want that, it will drop it in the bio of this video. And also watch out for our next video. Do us um sure by liking, subscribing, and share it to other students who are finding it difficult to do this. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. See you in our next video. Bye.